What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free extension from Fredo 6 that allows you to create and switch between different material options in your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so MatSim is a material simulation add-on from Fredo 6. You can download it from the Sketchication plugin store. I'll link to it in the notes down below. But basically the way that it works is it gives you the ability to create different material themes that you can switch between inside of SketchUp. So you can use, basically use it to create material options. And so um, we're going to use this office and cafe model from Ito Ralph. Okay. And so what you can do is you can click on this in order to pop up this little manager. And this manager is going to allow you to create a number of different simulations. And so in this case, we just want to click on the button right here in order to edit our first simulation. You can add multiple different simulations if you want to do that. Um, for me, I don't know why I would do that. Probably if I wanted to create different simulations, simulations for, um, you know, interiors versus exteriors, other things like that. Um, so that's probably why you would want to do that. But in this case, I'm just going to click on this button right here to edit my simulation one. That's going to pop up a window that looks like this. And so this window, and I'm going to close this for a second, um, is basically going to allow you to set up your different simulations in here. And so you can rename that simulation if you want to. Like if I wanted to call this exterior skin, I could do that right here. Now you have options to either save this simulation um, as a part of this model or as an external file that you can load elsewhere. So um, if you have materials that you commonly swap out for other materials, you could set this up. Generally speaking for me, this would be like a model based situation. But what you do right here is you use this in order to set up your base colors that'll be affected in the simulation and then you can create new themes. And so there's a couple different ways that you can do this. So say that I wanted this material right here to have an option to be, or let's go with this material, to have an option to be brick. Well, what I would do is I would sample that material using the material picker so that it's the active material inside my material section of my tray. Well, then what I could do is I could click right here in order to set this as a part of the base simulation. So now when we do this, this color is going to be one of the materials that this looks at swapping out. And so let's go ahead and let's pick another color. In this case, we'll pick this wood right here that's kind of making up these, uh, they're not fins, it's just kind of cladding on the outside, but we'll say that we want that material to be a part of our simulation as well. So notice how I just clicked over here in order to set that. And then if you wanted to, let's go ahead and let's also set these pavers to be a part of the simulation. But for the pavers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the material panel. So the material panel is basically Fredo 6's custom panel in here that you can use to access materials in your model. So if for whatever reason you don't like selecting materials over here, you can use Fredo's material selector in here. Now, generally I'm using the one over here just because I can get access to my custom models that are in here, but this is going to do the same thing, right? You've got a color picker that you can use right here. You've also got a number of different color fans and color wheels that you can use, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this. And then again, I'm just going to click over here and use that material. And so now I've got three materials picked that I want to set alternatives for. So the way that you can do that is you can click on the option for new theme. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this skin option A. And I'm going to click on OK. And so when you do that, notice what that does is that basically takes these materials and it just replicates them right here. So right now, skin option A and the base skin are going to do the same thing. Well, what we want is we want for skin option A to actually be a different material. So I'm going to use one of my custom materials, but you can use a regular material as well. I want an option for this to be this dark brick material. So I can just select that dark brick material, click right here in order for this to be a part of my option. Now, whenever I select op skin option A, this is going to swap out this material for this material. And we're going to do the same thing up here. So for my wood material, I want an option to have like a custom wood. So I'm going to go into my wood folder and we'll say that this has the option to be maybe a, let's go with a mahogany. And so I'm going to place this with an option as a mahogany and I'm going to place this 
to have an option to have concrete on the ground. So we'll use this concrete aggregate smoke material right here. So what we've done is we've created a skin option. Well, now if you click on the save changes button, that's going to ask you to confirm and I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to click on yes right here. Well, now notice what it does is it pops up this little window where I can select different options. So when I do this, notice how this is swapping out all of those different materials in here like this, right? So it's swapping this out with this dark brick. It's swapping this out with that mahogany and it's swapping this out with the concrete aggregate smoke. So say that I wanted to add another option. That's really easy to do. I can just click in here and I can add a new theme. And so for the new theme, we're just gonna call this skin option B right here. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and we're just gonna do the same thing. And so then I'm gonna save the changes. So now I can go to skin option A, I can go to skin option B right here and notice how it's swapping out those materials. So I can use this to really easily set up these different options in here. Now let's say that we wanted to not only have an exterior skin simulation, let's say we also wanted one where there's an alternate floor on the inside of this building. Well, to do that, we would just click on the button right here to create a new simulation. And in this case, I would call this one floor options. And again, I'm going to set the scope to my model. And what I want to do, and I'm going to go ahead and hide this so I can get to this wood material, is I'm going to set this wood floor as my base, right? But now I want to set a different material as my wood floor option. And in this case, we can go ahead and we can just use Fredo's window right here because it goes exact to where I need it to go. I want this wood floor dark to be my option right here. So I'm going to click on save changes. Well, now what I can do is I can jump between my exterior skin options as well as my floor options right here. So you can set this up for, I think, as many material options as you want directly inside of SketchUp. And then say you wanted to edit an option, you can just click in here to go back and edit this, right? So say that I didn't like this wood material for whatever reason, I could go ahead and I could just pick another wood material and replace that option here and click on save changes. Well, notice how that change is going to be reflected in the changes that I made right here. So this is actually a really easy way to manage material simulations inside of SketchUp. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tool. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you want to check out more great extensions from SketchUp, make sure you check out my ultimate extensions guide, which I'll link to on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.